Um, and I and I will say this: the Jets will get better with Sam Darnold. Won't be great, but they'll get better. So they'll they'll be a viable team. Uh, their offensive line gets all the credit. I like their defensive line. Not real scrambler. Doesn't throw the ball down the field, but it's very coachable. Five yards, 80, 75, 70, 98, 75, 73, 78. Jets will be able to beat anybody outside of probably Kansas City, New England. You know, some of that's Dak's pretty good at moving around. The other thing is, my belief, I do a lot of homework on this, our 10 best teams today in the NFL. Thanks for watching Numbskull News. And today, power rankings, week three. So let's get right into it. At number 10, got the Colts. There's a lot of two and one teams this this week, but the Colts, it, to me, the Colts are the most impressive. Andrew Luck retires, uh, Brissett steps in. They lose the first week with the Chargers, but it's a close game, and the Chargers are a good team. However, they end up beating what the Falcons and the Titans back to back weeks. Two pretty good teams. Both those teams are going to be fighting for playoff spots, and they just beat them both. So. I'm super impressed, man. The defense is really getting it going. Uh, the run game is go doing doing well. And Brissett, man, Brissett is just a baller. He's a player. If I'm if I'm a Colts fan, which I'm not, but if I was, I'm super excited, man. This team is still viable and it's going to be exciting the whole way through, man. They're going to be fighting and clawing for a playoff spot. It's going to be a fun year for those Colts fans. Number nine. The undefeated, it's very important to point that out. The undefeated Lions, two wins, one tie. That's why I'm just now putting them into the top ten. Uh, that tie was against the Cardinals. Just horrible, horrible tie. They should have never lost that game. However, they recovered nicely. Beat the Chargers and just got through beating the Eagles on their home field. As a Cowboys fan, thank you. Thank you, Lions, for finally showing up and doing something. Eight. Number eight in a loss. I still have the Ravens up there. Played a hell of a game against the Chiefs, man. Patrick Mahomes is for real. He is the real deal. The Chiefs are the real deal. They're playing lights out. And you know what? The Ravens damn near came back and got that game. Lamar Jackson, man, I, I was not, I have not been that high on Lamar Jackson. But that dude has been crushing it. This year he's going off. I got a lot of faith in those Ravens, man. That's their division. They're going to take it, take it easy. I mean, the Steelers are, are trash now. Bengals are trash. The Browns can't figure it out. Ravens are just going to run away with that sucker. So... The only reason I have them this low is they're coming off a loss. But uh, a little solace to take out of that. Dude, they look great even in a loss. This is going to be a tough, tough out in the playoffs. At number 7, 49ers. Got to give it to them. 3-0. Um, haven't beat anybody. <laughs> That's what everyone says about the Cowboys. I'm saying it here. Although, you know, it's a close game with the Steelers, but the Steelers still have, you know, a premier head coach and some really good players. Backup quarterback, sure. But, you know, with the, 40, the 49ers, I think, are going to get exposed later on. I don't think they're really this good of a looking team. Um, you know, they've hung around. They beat some teams they should have beaten, quite frankly. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens later on in the year. But for right now... They're in my top ten. They deserve it. Six, the Bills. Same thing with the as with the 49ers. I don't. I do not believe in the Bills, but I'm rooting for them. You know, they're surprising. They're playing hard. You know, they've beaten three bad teams. But if you're a good team, you're supposed to beat the bad teams, aren't you? And the Bills. Hey, man. They are in this thing. So I, look, I got them number six, man. I, I'm giving. I'm giving those guys some respect, and it's long overdue that they have a good start to the season and, and give some get people up there in Buffalo something to cheer about, finally. At five, I haven't moved the Cowboys out of, out of the top five, out of, out of number five. And, and you know what? They haven't, you know, I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm looking for reasons to move them up the ladder. 
But Dolphins, no. Even though they kicked their ass, they were supposed to. They were, they were what, a 21-point favorite, went to a 23-point favorite, and ended up beating them by, what was it, 25 or something? I don't know. They, they covered. But they were supposed to. You know, and that's my team. I love them. You know, I got them number five. You could make the case maybe for the Bills to be above them. Uh, Niners, if you just hate the Cowboys. But I think they deserve to be number five. I'm not going to overrate them yet. Uh, you know, let's see what they do with, against the Saints next week. You know, the Saints just went and beat Seattle, you know, on the road. And the Cowboys have to go to New Orleans to face the Saints. Um, you know, good luck getting punt return touchdowns and, you know, defensive touchdowns <laughs> because that offense with the Saints uh, with Bridgewater didn't look all that great to me. I mean, Amari, uh, what was it, Alba Kamara looks awesome regardless. But, you know, it, it'll be interesting. I'll have a little bit more respect for that win from the Cowboys if they can get it. For the Rams, you know, playing well still undefeated but i don't have any kind of reason to elevate them at this point um they're still going to be one of the premier if not the team to beat in the nfc um i can't put the cowboys up there um at least you know with that kind of respect anyway but they they, that's a it's going to be still going to be a dominant team. It's going to be a tough, tough out in the playoffs. Uh, right now, number four, um, I don't see them really moving down <laughs> or even out of the top ten all year. We'll just see where they end up. Chiefs still have number three, like I did last week. Uh, solid win versus the Ravens. Um, they, they should have beat the Ravens. It was at their home track there. But... Uh, I don't know. I just came away more impressed with the Ravens that they damn near came back on them. Damn near got them. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I'm still one of these people that I, I have to see them beat the Patriots in the playoffs to believe that they could beat the Patriots in the playoffs. Okay. And, uh, but so far, look, I, I, I'm just like everybody else. I'm impressed with the Chiefs. I'm just not putting them in the Super Bowl just damn yet. To the Packers, man, I am just continually impressed with them. Um, I think they're in the hard, hardest division in all of football. There's no doubt about it. The Lions are, are legit team. Uh, the Vikings are legit. The Bears are legit. And the Packers already beat two of the top teams. And they're, they'll eventually go against the Lions. But, man, they're looking good. Now, I know they, they beat the Broncos. The Broncos aren't that good this year. Um, but the Broncos still have a pretty good defense. I mean, theoretically, <laughs> I don't think anyone else in the media or, you know, websites or whatever ESP. And I don't think anyone has the Packers rated that high because they're, they're being stupid. Everyone's just in love with Patrick Mahomes right now. So they're going to have chiefs up there. Um, I'm just looking at who, who they've beaten. I don't care who they are, what their name is. The Packers deserve to be number two. As much as I hate them, as much as I hate the Packers, they deserve that spot. And to tell you the truth, they probably deserve the number one spot. But, number one, being the Patriots, another team I hate, uh, you just have to give them that respect. There, there's a, you know, they're 3-0. I don't know when they're going to lose a game. You know, Antonio Brown doesn't matter. I mean, it does not matter. They just keep on trucking. They'll find somebody to, to catch touchdown passes. They always do. They always do. Or they'll deflate a ball. <laughs> or there's still a playbook or something. Look, I got them number one. Someone, they have to get knocked off. Someone has to beat them for me to lower them down. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, I think uh, they got the Cowboys in week 11. Can't wait for that. But, uh, you know, they got the Bills coming up. So that's going to be a big test for the Bills. And, uh, but Patriots, number one, they have to be. 
They're not coming out of my number one spot. I don't care if they got Miami every week. I'm not moving them out of there until they lose. Period. Well, that's it for their for uh, week three. As I said, Pats number one, Packers number two, Chiefs number three, Rams number four, Cowboys number five. That has not changed since uh, week two, since last week. Bills six, 49ers seven. Got Ravens eight, Lions at nine. Lions break in. And the Colts at 10. And that's my top 10 for this week. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with some other crap later. Bye.